can I ask you for a hand real quick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you need. Can you just grab this guy and yeah. click it into the ski behind you? This is just like a ski boot. Oh, oh you're, yeah, 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 you're yeah, yeah. a snowboarder. I got you. <laughs> just push that. Yep, there we go. Hell yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Fuck yeah. Appreciate it. Get busy living or get busy dying. We all have a choice. Josh Hancock skis faster than you. That was fun. And faster than me. That was good today. And probably 90% of the people on the slopes. I started skiing when I was about four years old. And he does it without the use of his legs. I love coming out here. I mean, I love being outdoors. And the mountains are beautiful. And uh, it just feels so good to like get out and move my body and challenge myself, go fast. Woo! So we're dropping into the Serengeti Bowl here, and uh, you can see there's lots of nice untracked powder out here. And we're gonna sort of ski down this and then cut our way over to the Pine Martin chair. December 3rd, 2014, I was out ice climbing with a friend, and it was just a practice day. We weren't doing anything very difficult. And I was resting on the rope, uh, taking a break. And while I was resting, the anchor that my partner built failed. And as a result, I fell about 35 feet broke my back and became paralyzed from the waist down. It's been nine years now since that fateful day climbing that left Josh paralyzed from the waist down. Five weeks in the hospital and then about a month of um, living in an apartment with my parents and nurses and OTs coming and going. Um, and then about 10 more months of learning how to drive and learning how to ride a, a you know tricycle, like a hand cycle. Um, and just kind of figuring out how to move in my body again. And about a year after my injury is when I felt comfortable uh, starting to learn how to ski again. Josh had to rebuild his life, learn how to function independently, and relearn how to do the activities he loved. It's really humbling becoming a beginner again. You know, I was, I was doing a lot of ski mountaineering before my injury, and you know, that was awesome and it was magical. And then to like be back on the bunny slopes and wiping out all the time, uh, it was hard to process, you know? And it's hard to imagine like, okay, where is this gonna go someday? Today he's packed doing most of the sports and outdoor activities he was passionate about before the accident. I try to give myself as many options as possible. Like I, when people invite me to go do something, I wanna be able to say yes as much as I can. Um, so I go mountain biking, I have an off-road hand cycle, I have a couple surfboards, I love to go surfing. Um, I have a whitewater raft. It goes beyond outdoor pursuits, way beyond. He works as an environmental engineer in his day job, still travels the world, and recently agreed to step outside his comfort zone and perform a rehearsed dance on stage with his girlfriend in front of an audience. I have kind of a saying that anything that makes me feel scared and excited, I, I have to do it. His girlfriend Abby informed me that's why he dates her, with a quick chuckle and twinkle in her eye. <laughs> yeah, I'm better at skiing than dancing. But... That pursuit to live life to the fullest and push the boundaries of what some may think is possible also caught the eye of filmmakers. Let's go up Summit, let's ski some pow, take the camera. It's gonna be awesome. In 2019, Josh became one of the main subjects of a documentary film, which is now in post-production. The working title of which is Adapted. Until you're right there, floating down the tongue of the rapid, you really don't know what it's gonna look like. And sometimes it takes your breath away. How big it is, how fast it is, how beautiful it is. If this is what you love, this is what you'll continue to do. Like, I think that's the human spirit. We're really trying to tell the story about how, um, how healing the outdoors and sport can be uh, after people have experienced traumatic accidents and injuries. 
Josh hopes the film will inspire people in similar situations and far beyond. You have to face the sadness of what's happened and the loss. Like, that's real, and that grief is real. Um, but I, I also, I told myself early on that, you know, I, I think I only get to live once, and uh, I'm going to make the most of it. Get busy living, or get busy dying. You got a saying, if you want to, if you want to be the shit, you got to ski the shit. <laughs> on Mount Bachelor, Eric Lindstrom, Central Oregon Daily News.